Okay, it's early afternoon and the mist is coming in in the Chilterns here. I've got Raymond over from Luxembourg, who's my first Luxemburger hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Luxemburger Jager. And uh, he's hoping to shoot uh, some cull animals and uh, perhaps get a trophy muntjac to take back to Luxembourg with him. You haven't shot a muntjac buck before, have you, Raymond? No, no, never. What? Only a doe. Only a doe, yeah, so the challenge is on me. And hopefully I've got quite a few fallows still on my cool sheet to get, so uh, hopefully we can try and catch up with some fallow deer as well. So without any more ado, let's go and get up this ice seat for half an hour, yes. OK? OK. See if we can call one. Yeah, let's thank go. you. Come on. It's going one way then another, so we started off with it that way and then we've come in this way. We've got some really good um, areas here of bramble and uh, hopefully there's some uh, some more jack or maybe even a robot coming. We're just going to take it really steady, okay? Mm -hmm. She knows we're here. Oh, oh, eight shot. <laughs> well done, mate. She's away. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well, we've been waiting here for about an hour. Um, just upon this bank in front of us, there's been a buck and a doe. We've never had a clear shot at either of them. And uh, now, Ray's finally shot himself his uh, second Muntjac book. No, first Muntjac book of your life. First Muntjac book of his life, so that's really good. Uh, nice young trophy. Um, really happy with the shot. And um, happy that he shot it with the Speedster. The Helix Speedster. Back in the field. Right, let's go and have a look at what you've got, mate. We've got time to move to another high seat and try and try for another one. <laughs> <laughs> it's spring and we need to shoot some deer. He's up here, look. There you go. <laughs> well done. What a nice trophy book. Great shot. Well done, Mark. Ray, how, are, how was that? Good? He's still grinning, look. And if I just bring the camera down, and go down through there, you can actually see the seat. 102 metres. Managed to get a Hornady SST bullet and you saw dropped him on the spot and there's a lovely book. I'll just set him up. So, lovely trophy book. Well, look at the damage he's had from another book. I want to meet him. Completely split his ear. 
and then the other one is exactly the same. I think he's been playing in the front row. It's a very nice book. And we've got enough time to get some nice photographs and then get him grolicked and we'll go and look on the field edges now. Reload. Well, <laughs> just when you thought there was nothing happening and the rain starts to pour down, we spotted a group of fallow deer laid down out in the field behind where we were sitting. And uh, we've done a fantastic little stalk. It probably took us 20 minutes to get into them. They're all laid down and then they just got up and started feeding into the wind. And um, well, luckily, Ray's managed to bag one, so uh, we'll just get over there and have a look what it is. It's, uh, it's down and uh, did a great job, mate, there. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoying the new speedster? <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah, oh, it's really good. It's the, uh, the doe season's now closed, and I've only got my books left to shoot, so, and typically in the spring, I get groups of books coming back onto me, and um, just being like little satellite bachelor groups, and uh, it's still good to keep getting a few in the larder, so uh, I've done my doe call, and um, it's a little bit out of balance, really, because I haven't shot that many, um, sort of like two, three-year-old books, so... Uh, Let's go and see what we got. So brilliant, well done. <laughs> <laughs> well done, perfect. Brilliant one. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> so we just had a fantastic stalk. Take my keys out of my mouth. I just had a fantastic stalk on this uh, young sorrel, and uh, you can see that's the piece of wood, and you can see the mist coming in. And we've uh, stalked all the way along that edge. We spotted them probably 300 metres away, and we've had to come all the way along here, get into a nice firing position, nice safe background, and you've got a little bit of a trophy to take back with you. Well done. Well, well, well done, Ray. Great shot. I think it was about 110 metres using my uh, Helix Speedster. How are you enjoying it? You normally shoot a Tika, don't you? Yeah, that was very successful for me. Uh, a new exploration with the South Moderator. That was very good. Very and the, good. the 308 did a good job, the calibre. Dropped it on the spot virtually, so we're very happy with that. And uh, very little meat damage. Um, all we have to do now is uh, drag it down the field and I'll go and fetch the truck and then we'll go and have a beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Good idea. Well done. And Wideman Sile. Thank you. No problem.